Hi everyone! Thank you for joining me for the monthly card readings for each sign. If you enjoy these free readings, you can show your support by donating or purchasing some of my many wares. If you can't afford to purchase anything, you can still show your support by subscribing, thumbs upping, and sharing, or take a second to click on one of the ads. Thank you in advance for your continued support, and I truly appreciate each and every one of you. Now, on to the reading. Hello, Aquarius. Welcome to the February 2016 Tarot Scope with Animal Totem. I'll be using the Hanson Roberts Tarot, along with the Animal Totem that I created, as well as this book, Tarot in the Modern World, which you can find out about by scrolling down. And happy birthday to all you Aquarians out there who are born in February. All right, let's get on to the reading for Aquarius, February 2016. Ooh. Okay, Re uh, February 2016, Aquarius. Here's a couple that want to come out. February, Aquarius, 2016. Let's move these out of the way. Here we go. And this one, I don't know, is there too many? There's too many here, so I'm going to throw some of those back. And let me get my last card here. Okay, uh, the other thing is, you know, uh, even if you are a January Aquarius, late, late January uh, birth date, the new moon is this month, on the 8th, in Aquarius. So, um, as I said, your birthday is the most powerful time. So if you weren't able to get your New Year's resolutions together, that's okay because it's better to do it right around your birthday because that's your solar new year every year. And then secondly, and again, if your birthday was already in January, February 8th, there's a new moon in Aquarius. That's your one and only new moon every year. So that's a great time to um, do your manifestations. Well, there's a lot here. I mean... Um, you got tens. You have the ten of cups, the ten of swords, and then tower and ten of pentacles. So tens are always a build up. I mean, this is the final stage. It goes ace through ten, you know, just like a regular deck of cards does. So there's something, you know, it's, there's something that you really have. Um, it's really a, a culmination. And tower in reverse is not as bad as tower upright. I mean, but. Tower in reverse is like it's it's probably going to be ending. You know, for some of you, I feel like this could have already happened, too. Like, it's kind of like um, picking up the pieces in a way, or, you know, you're going down this new path. Some of you have fear about this, too, because you have fool in reverse here. Fool in reverse is don't do the same, because fool is a be beautiful card. You know, the word fool gets, gets a bad um, reputation in our modern society. But really, the fool is, he's open-hearted, he's ready to be for anything, he's this beautiful new spirit, right? It's zero, new. Um, when in reverse, it's like people would, be, when the fool shows up in reverse, it's kind of like, yeah, I want to do, I'm, I've, I've been, maybe I'm being forced to make this new beginning with the tower here. Uh, but I'm just going to go back for more. I'm going to, and look what he's, le he's leading toward. He's leading right towards that ten of swords. So any kind of new beginning that's really not, that's kind of the same old thing, it's it's kind of doomed to fail. I hate to say it like that, but that's the truth. Um, or for some of you, I hate to say it too, but it's the truth. I mean, if this is a, a, a bad relationship, and then you're going to give it one more try and think it's going to be different, it's probably not going to be different, okay? Anything that's new, you're saying is new, but really you're gonna, just going to do this old thing again, it's not gonna. It's just not gonna fly. Um, but look, if it's a relationship, you have the Ten of Cups in the spread here. So there's potential for this Ten of Cups to be here. The Ten of Cups, like the Ten of Swords, is the most hurt, pain, and suffering, right? It's a sword suit. The Ten of Cups is the most joy, love, happiness. It's the marriage card. So um, there's there's potential to have great, great happiness here. But not if you're going to be doing this old, same old thing here. And that's just not going to happen. And you may be forced to change. If if something happens, like if some of you have lost a job or something happened like that, like Tower, like all of a sudden, it's like, whoa, my life has totally changed now. What am I going to do? Well, I'll just go look for another job at that same company or the same kind of work again. You're being told not to go back the same way. That's what I'm trying to get to you guys, okay? 
If the relationship's terrible and then you give them another chance, probably not going to work. Um, you know, so stars in reverse here. Star is your spirit guide's angels, and this is a beautiful card too, but it's in reverse. And when star's in reverse, it's saying, we're not telling you to do this. Star, I feel, has been trying to tell you. It's that tapping on the shoulder. Hello? Hello? Listen, you're not on the right path here. We're not telling you to do this. And you just keep going, going, going. It's not going to be, it's not sustainable. It's just not. And some of the ways that spirit taps on your shoulder like that is like sun in reverse. Sun is your life force, your energy, your chi. That's why I put it on this book. That's the sun card from the Rider Waite, a portion of it in the background. Because I wanted that to this book to really shine. And when, when sun is in reverse, you're not shining. You're being drained. You've been being drained for a while by your circumstances here. Um, this is totally a blessing in disguise. I know that's hard to hear if you are in that stage of I've lost my job, I've lost my house, I'm getting a divorce. Star in reverse is one reason I say it's a blessing in disguise because Star was never with you on this anyway. They're like, well, you're not going to listen to me tap and we're going to start throwing some heavier stuff your way. You know, We're going to get into that tower phase. But secondly, because worldism is spread. Sun, you got the two best deck cards in the dang deck here. You have Sun and Re World. Unfortunately, they're both in reverse position. <laughs> well, sun in reverse is kind of, like I said, a draining of the energy. But the world in reverse is not bad. The world, I feel, the world in reverse does not diminish its power. It only means that you don't see it for what it really is yet. So, again, there's a silver lining here. There's something wonderful. For some of you, it may be real hard to get through. It could be very difficult to get through. Um, but spirit's trying to talk to you, and you gotta, well, you don't gotta do anything, but I advise that you listen, okay? And this is backed up here, too, because this is the, that, uh, offer's coming. The hand comes out of the cloud, if you notice that. So this could be a message from spirit, too. More likely, this is some kind of money offer here. You know, there's, somebody's making you an offer that's gonna uh, bring financial increase and financial gain to you. So... For some of you, you lost your job. Okay, you lost a big client. Okay, something better is coming along, I promise. But you got to stay in that zone. You can't say, okay, well, I'm going to go look at for another shitty job. I'm just going to say it straight out like that, you know, where they treat me like crap and I, it drains my energy because that's what I need to make money. No, I'm telling you that's not what you need to make money. That's, that's a big message here because you have Ten of Pentacles in reverse too. Lined up with that fool. And fool in reverse is foolish. Fool upright is not foolish whatsoever. But fool in reverse is foolish. And um, it's saying, you know, if you want to keep trying this and trying this, this it's not you're not going to be prosperous. Um, you, it, many of you feel doubtful that you could have this. You know, he's on guard and he's doubtful. And what's he guarding against? He's guarding against the Ten of Cups. Why in the world would anybody guard against the Ten of Cups? That's the ultimate happiness. It's the most happiness, the most joy, the most love. So, I'm going to tell you, uh, let me get a drink of water real quick here. If something seems too good to be true, it isn't. Usually it's say, they, the saying goes, if something seems too good to be true, then it probably is. I'm going to tell you that it's obtainable. And it's obtainable, you have all these powerful major arcana cards here, but also because... It is your birthday time, and it is your new moon and everything. And if you're a rising Aquarius, it applies to you too, because that's the new moon in your first house, right? So there's, there's solutions available that are going to end the struggle. This is talking about ending struggle over here. You know, there's solutions available to you, but you really got to kind of trust. It's a time of great trust. The Fool is very trusting. That's his beautiful thing about the Fool. He's open-hearted, he's trusting, he's not worrying one bit about one little thing, you know. And he's not going to uh, put himself in that position. He's free. He's a free spirit. So whatever this is you're being released from... Oh, sorry, Aquarius. Hopefully I won't have to... This place calls 20 times a day. It's, uh, I'm going to try to get through this without having to edit it. We'll see how it goes. I'm sorry. I apologize again. 
I'll just, I won't say anything important until that phone stops ringing. And for those of you that are saying, well, just unplug it or turn it off, it's very difficult to get to. It would require moving furniture and all this stuff, and it doesn't disconnect from the, the phone itself. It's like a... It's my landline phone. Okay, but back to the reading. I apologize for the phone. Back here. Um, you know, this is a, a major opportunity for you guys. Uh, there could be. And um, with every, it's like that old saying, you know, when the door closes, a window opens or whatever. That's just really true for you guys right now. You have, it's, it's a time, it could be a time of tremendous turbulence and change. It depends on how, how soon you want to listen to that tapping on the shoulder. Um, some of you may have already done this, like, like maybe walked out on your job or walked out on your spouse. And now you're like, oh my God, what am I going to do now? Don't go groveling back. That's another thing I want to tell everybody. No groveling. No groveling allowed, Aquarius, okay? Whether it's somebody that was a bad match for you and you're begging them to take you back or or you call them back and say, oh, could you please take me back? Because it's, it's never going to, it's only going to result in more suffering and pain here. And I do feel like there's some suffering and pain involved with this transition. There is, okay? Okay. So hey Aquarius, let's get the let's get that totem for you guys. Um if you guys are interested in animal totems, of course you can pick up my deck and everything, but also please check out the Inside the Creative Spirit this month. I had a, I had such a thrill to uh interview one of my all time uh greatest uh metaphysical teachers uh through her books, Miss Lynn Andrews. She is just such a magical, cool lady, so please take the time to watch that. If you've never heard of her, definitely check her out. And uh, as far as readings, you know, I'm, right now I'm just doing those soul journey readings as far as these videos, and I have some predictive reports available. Uh, there, there may be some predictive type of reading coming up at some point, but um, I haven't worked it all out now because I'm furiously working on my own tarot deck, too, because I want to get that done and do it for you guys. I'm so excited about my tarot deck. So lots of cool things are happening. But what is that animal totem card for Air Aquarius? I almost said Aries. I have more than one there. Uh, Aquarius. Here, I got one. The pig. Pig's not a bad card. Again, it's like the fool. Uh, in case I forget to edit it in later, please take a second to look at it. Freeze the screen if you have to. F freeze frame. I'm going to read this. Pig. Tenacious, steadfast, bold, independent, bringer of luck, prosperity, and wealth. Feast in celebration and gratitude. Prolific creation, a time of great fertility. So the pig energy is saying that there is fertility and abundance available to you, big time. And that, thing, lucky, you know, um, being in the right place at the right time. You may consider this a lucky... I feel like once you get a little bit of distance between all this stuff... You will look back at that and say, man, that really was a, a lucky break. A, a blessing in disguise is what I get so strong for you. Uh, prolific cr creation and being in celebration and gratitude. Totally the full energy. You guys should be embracing that full energy, not blocking it out. And definitely embracing the energy of the star because spirit communication. One last thing before I wrap up this reading. Some of you may have lost somebody. And if that's the case, they're trying to come through. That just came to me. Okay? They're just trying to come through. They're trying to tell you they're okay or something. You know, they're, you're, there's there's definitely spirit messages trying to come through to you, whether it's from a loss of a loved one or just your own spirit guides and angels. So you got to trust in that and listen to it because this is this is a world of opportunity, whatever this is for you. So take advantage of it and go with it, Aquarius. Okay. All right, hey Aquarius. Thank you guys all for supporting, liking favoring, sharing my stuff all over. If you want to find out more up here in the top, there's that little info button. You can find out about how to get all my stuff. Or down at the bottom, you can subscribe via YouTube on that button down the other corner. And if you like below, you can find a link to my Facebook page. You can follow me there if you want to find out. Uh, what I am doing on Facebook now, too, is I am posting a weekly um, animal totem card for everybody. So if you want to check that out, the link is below to the Rock and Roll Prophetess. Um, Facebook page. Okay, everyone, remember that you are Love, Beauty, Incarnate. Thank you all for donating, liking, sharing, everything that you do to help me out. I really appreciate it so much. Have a great birthday, and I'll talk to you soon.